Right then, guys. We've, um, we've come out to the woods again, and, um, well, it's not the most exciting video in the world. Tarps. Um, and in particular, square tarps. And why I prefer square tarps to some, you know, um, fancier shaped tarps. Um, you can see down here, I've got the US GI tarp. This is in the, um, the Woodland Digicam. And you can see the size difference between that and, well, what I'm going to be setting up today, which is the, um, it's just the three meter squared DD hammock. You can see the specs on there. I won't bore you with it. With this, you get four guide ropes and some tent pegs as well. So um, you're not just getting a tarp. You're getting a real versatile tarp. And what I'll do, I'll do, I suppose, my three most commonly used configurations. And, um, yeah, I'll just show you how I get these things set up. I'm just going to get this, get the American one out of the way. I know a lot of you guys out there like the whole ridge line idea. However, I don't know, maybe it's an old army thing. I never really, I never really use the whole ridge line thing. I think really for speed of putting up and taking down. I think I've always preferred the bungee cord method. So I'm not really having to worry about getting a line up. That's it. That's the job done there. So. I'm just going to peg these out here. So, I like to use, they're like big screwing pegs there. This gives me a little bit more, I don't know, a little bit more meat. So, I'm just going to do that one there. This tarp here, you'll see in a minute. There are so many advantages over, I suppose, what you call a bog standard tarp. This is, well, nothing bog standard about it. You'll see the quality of it in a second. I'll give you a guided tour. And then my last one. And then I'll take you inside. So as you see, that is, I suppose, what's classically known as an apex. A-frame, or just a contemporary setup. I'll show you, I'll show you inside. So you can see by the vast size of this thing, you've got plenty of room in there. The thing I love about this tarp, look at this here. Everything is reinforced. Look at that in there. At every single tag, you see those loops there? Reinforced. Same across here and all the way along. You can see it's not just, I don't know, it's just, it's not just a tarp. So if you do, if you're of the school that you like to put a ridge line up, you can see across there, it's got the facility. Let's go inside. As you can see, the bottom here gives you a clear view of how everything is reinforced. Everything is stronger. It's not just stick directly into the fabric. It's actually sewn into the lining. And then they have this rubberized 
triangle and then your loops are stitched on top of it. It makes for a real strong, durable tarp. I love the colour as well. I think they call that coyote brown. When I mean, you can see, especially this time of year, unfortunately, wow, the weather's changing. I think we've had our summer and this is it. Everything's going to start turning brown. Let's see, I'm in here. The leaves are falling. Well, even some of the trees are falling, to be honest. Right. So that's what I call the basic apex or A frame configuration. Now, that's all right if you want to be contemporary. However, the Sarge likes to do things a little bit different. So, what I'm going to do now is do a couple of extra special ways of putting up the tarp. So, get rid of that. Get rid of that. Take it off here. Take it off here. Right. You see why I don't use a ridge line? I get it down really quickly. Okay. What I'm going to do here is do what I like to call my windbreaker basher. So. All I'm going to do is grab a bit of power cord. And I think I'm going to go at about this height. So take it round like that. You see what I've done there? Drop one end there, one end there. Now I'm going to take my tarp. And because it's square, it really doesn't matter which way round I put it. So, I'm going to grab only two, two pegs. So, find one corner. Find the end of my power cord. Tie a little loop in it. Right, stick that in the ground. Take my other tent peg, get the end. Now, I need to tighten this up here around this tree. So, there we go, tight. Now, get my end, pull that tight. Pull that tight. Can you tell what it is yet? Right. Another. Not. Bear in mind that goes underneath. <laughs> okay. Now, a sinker in there. That's it. Now, this is the magic. Take it up here. And then all I have to do is peg her out, leave a little opening down in this corner. I hope you can still see me and I'm not out of shot. That's that there. And I think I'll grab another peg I've got around here. There we go. How'd you like that, guys? Very quick. That's my wind beater. 
or wind cheater tarp setup. Do you want to have a look inside? Okay. So as you can see, the wind's coming across here. It's not going to get up there. And here we go. How's that? The wind is just going to baffle straight over that without any problems whatsoever. So, that's another setup, guys. So, I've got plenty of room under here. I can sit every which way I want, not a problem. The wind, if it's coming from that direction, it's going to blow straight over you. And like you saw, a couple of minutes to set up. Easy. Right. Third, final. Okay. We're going to do a diamond configuration. These are, well, especially used when you're putting up a hammock. So, all I'm going to do do those. So take that down. Okay, let's do a diamond configuration now. Okay. Um, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to take a corner. Take another corner, opposite corner, obviously. Peg this one up here. Now, We're not too bored yet. <laughs> Pull out the other side. There we go. Obviously I'm trying to do this a little bit hurried because I don't want to bore you. But that really is a nice low profile. Let's have a look at that. Take off the stand. There we go. Fit your hammock underneath there. And you're laughing. Look at all the space in that. Plenty of room. She's very, very large. You're not going to need a bigger tarp than that. So, you can see how the quality and the versatility of a square tarp compares to like a rectangular one or one of these snazzy shapes. Doesn't take long to put up. There you go, 15 minutes. I think you've had enough. 
that's my um that's my dd tarp great color ain't she right bless you guys thanks for watching and um i know it's not the most exciting subject in the world it's a tarp it's a shelter it's a quick pop-up roof over your head when you're out in the woods but um there's a lot of money spent on the equipment and a lot of time a lot of investment and um she's a nice bit of kit i'm very impressed with it and i love the color so um yeah i'm sure most of you are familiar with dd hammocks um, I actually have their frontline hammock, so I might set that up and show you some of the details of that product. Um, all right, guys, God bless, and um, I'll see you around. Bye.